Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi and welcome for the second day. It can be the, if you do it every day, it's, it's going to be fantastic. But if we don't have time, it's okay. Remember, it's only 20 minutes or 15 minutes in total. So don't worry, it's just a little time, but it will help us to start to introduce ourselves. The routine of do yoga every day. Why every day? Because every day we use our muscles, every day we use uh, strength, like a, we need the strength, muscles strength, and also joints mobility for our daily activities. So that's why we need to give it that little treat to our body every day to extend the muscles, to release the tension, strength as well, to support the joints mobility. So ready? Let's start. I wanted to use stand up. Close your eyes. Relax your arms, relax your shoulders. Feel the weight balancing between right and left foot. Again, we listen our breath, inhale deep. We are aware of the pause between inhalation and exhalation and we exhale. We're gonna do again, inhaling four beats and exhaling four. I'm gonna do a pause and a purpose between so then we can really have time to get ready. Okay, so relax your shoulders, activate your tummy, have the sensation to pull your pubic bone towards your belly button. So you feel a little engagement into your lower tummy and your pelvic floor, mu pelvic floor muscles. Ready, close your eyes. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, keep your deep breath in, you can keep those four beats in your mind. But the most important at the moment is be aware. Be aware of your position. If your weight is greater in one side than the other one. If your knees are locked. So we try to soften by pushing our feet on the ground, pulling the pubic bone towards the belly button to engage the tummy so the weight won't collapse in the knees. And we don't lock our joints. Be aware if your chest move forward, if you tense your shoulders, keep your breath and slowly open your eyes if you have them closed. It's important to always be aware of our posture, more in our balance between right and left. So let's start. So from here we're going to start as we end the, the, the day before. So remember this part. We keep our shoulders above the hips mm -hmm. and we're just going to bring your hands in right position. Bend your knees as far as you can go without leaning forward. Bring your arms up. You can keep your palms together. If it's not possible, just release them, but keep your arms straight. Look towards the ceiling, engage your tummy. We hold for four breaths. Inhale deep. And exhale. Let's go for three. Be aware what is happening in your ankles. Let's go for two. Inhale. And exhale. And just one more. Exhale. Bend your, bend your arms, bring your hands onto your chest. Extend the legs. We lean forward, keeping our back straight. We can bend the knees to help us. We go all the way. Remember, some of us, we don't have the full flexibility with the legs straight, so we bend the knees to make it as more comfortable. Let the head drop. Inhale and exhale, push the ground and we roll up the spine slowly. Good. We roll our shoulders backwards. Inhale, chair pose. Take a breath here. Inhale, reaching off, feel the stretch in your tummy and your arms. Exhale, lean forward. You can keep your legs bent all the way, 
Drop the hands beside your feet. Bend the knees to allow the tummy to come close to your thigh. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Roll up the spine. Roll your shoulders backwards again. Arms come up. Chair pose. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Again, drop the hands middle of the chest. Lean forward with your back straight. Bend your knees to support you. Go all the way. Drop your hands beside you. Feet, let the chest come close to your thigh. And take a deep breath. Remember, we bend the knees. We don't extend the legs and we hold here with a lot of tension in the legs. Now we make it comfy. We make it safe. And also... They really help us to stretch our glutes, our back as well. Inhale deep and exhale, roll up the spine. Good. We breathe. Our shoulders backwards. Then we just go one more time. Chair pose. Lift your tummy. We maintain shoulders above the hips. We try to don't lean forward. And we drop the hands. Forward bend. This time we drop the hands. We can bring them slightly forward. Step backward, right and left. We come onto all fours. We sit in back, child pose. Moving our bum down onto the heels. Extending your arms. We hold it here for four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. Back again onto all fours. We curl the toes under. Remember the downward dog. We lift the knees. We keep the legs bent. Don't worry, extending the legs. More when we are just warming up and more when we are not that flexible. So just bend the knees. Extend your back. We hold it for three breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for two. Balance the weight between right and left. Just one more. And exhale. Bring your knees slowly onto the ground. We're going to step forward with the right foot, whatever is your right hand. Keep the hand beside the foot. Slide the left knee as much as you can. We can keep the fist on the ground or the palms or your fingertips. Now we're going to just lift the knee as far as we can without forcing. You can extend the leg fantastic, but if not, we keep it just bent. We just hold here, focusing our breathing. No forcing, releasing tension. We take three more breaths. Inhale. Exhale, engage your tummy. Try to lift your chest to straight your back. Let's go for two. And just one more. Bring your knee onto the ground. Step backwards. Right foot. Now here we need to learn a position called Chaturanga. But at the moment I just wanted to you be aware of it. Okay. So what we are going to do is we're going to move our shoulders forward and bend the elbows as far as we can. And we're just going to feel a lot of strain at the back of the arm. Okay, so move your shoulders forward, bend your elbows, hold one, two, three, push yourself all the way, child pose. Remember here, the most important is that you bring your bum down onto your heels. One more time, come on to all fours, shoulders forward, bend the elbows, we hold one, two, three, push away, and child pose. And back again onto all fours. Step forward, left foot. Your fist on the ground, or your palms, or your fingertips. Curl the toes on the right foot and lift the right knee as far as we feel comfortable without forcing. We hold for four. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. And release your knee, hands onto the floor. 
We step backwards. The same sensation, shoulders forward, elbows bent, and we're gonna lean all the way down. Now we're gonna go back bends. Now some of us, we have lots of flexibility so we can keep our hands beside the chest and extend fully the arms. Some of us, we feel tension on the lower back, so what we are gonna do is we're gonna extend your arms beside your shoulders, mm -hmm. and then slide the hands forward by bending your legs, by bending your elbows, and here is a position that's going to help us to extend the arms fully. If it's still when you lift the chest and extend the arms, is it still pressure in your lower back? We're going to come down and we're going to move our hands forward. Okay? Again, if you want to go deeper, you just bring your elbows more in and hands closer. So let's go. Extend your arms to the side for a head on the ground. And bend your elbows and drag the hands to the front. And that's it. And one more time, that sensation to press with your fingertips, engage your tummy. And we're going to concentrate that the tummy is stretching. Inhale and exhale. Press your feet gently against the ground to elongate the legs. Lift the elbows, extend the arms, chest up. We take a breath here. That make sure that there is no pain in your lower back. Inhale and exhale. We release, chest go down, head go down. Let's go for three more. Inhale, exhale, press to your fingertips, elbows up, extend your arms, lift your chest, take a deep breath here. Inhale, and exhale. Now bend your elbows, let the chest go down. Well done, everybody. And again, inhale, exhale, come up. Feel a nice sensation in your tummy. Oh, stretching your tummy and release. Well done. Just one more. Inhale and exhale. Come up. Push through your fingertips. Lift your chest. Inhale deep. Exhale. And we just release down. Well done. Let the arms rest beside your body. Let the face rest in one side just to release your neck. We take here two deep breaths. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Now make your face opposite direction. We take two breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Just one more. And exhale. Before head back onto the ground, hands beside your chest, push your body up onto all fours. Curl the toes under, remember downward dog. Lift your bum, let the tailbone really go towards the ceiling, extend your arms and your back. Don't worry if the heels or the legs are not straight, we can bend the knees just to concentrate on our back and our arms. We take three deep breaths, inhale, exhale, no pain at the back of the knee. And inhale, and exhale, just one more, inhale, and exhale, remember we can bend the knees, you don't feel a horrible sensation at the back of the knee, bring your knees down onto the ground, and slide the right knee forward, close to your right hand, we fold the arms and we let the chest go down, just to feel nice and stretch in our thighs, let's go for four breaths, inhale deep, Again, that sensation to press your feet against the ground to engage your leg muscles and keep active your stretch. Two more breaths, everybody. Inhale. And exhale. Just one more. Inhale. And exhale. Now from here, we're just going to drag our legs close to us. As far as you can lift your chest, you can come onto your fingertips or your fist, whatever is more comfortable. Now here you need to press your feet against the ground to elevate your tummy. Chest, come up. We hold here for four. Inhale. Really the sensation of lifting your tummy to stretch your tummy. Let's go for two. And just one more. Bring your hands back again onto the ground. Push yourself onto all fours. Curl the toes under. Downward dog. 
Here we can paddle a little bit if you feel more comfortable, or you can keep your legs bent and just push your tailbone upwards, extending arms and back, keeping your legs bent. Hold me feel, hold here for two more breaths. Inhale and exhale. Again, inhale and exhale. Slowly drop your knees onto the ground, keeping your tummy in. So now it's the left knee, move forward and right one, go backwards. We fold the arms, we let the head rest onto the arms, and we just hold here for four. Inhale, and exhale. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. And slowly pressing our feet onto the ground, release and raise your torso. Keep your feet on the ground, bring your hands as closer as you can. Press with your feet to elevate your tummy, open your chest, relax your shoulders. We hold for four. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for three. And two. And just one more. Bring your hands back into the ground. Push yourself all the way, all fours. And again, curl the toes under and we go downward dog, extending our back. Now might well, our legs might be more uh, more released more flexible so we just go inhale lift your heels up as much as you can exhale heels down again if you feel too much tension at the back of the leg slightly bend your knees and again up and down let's go two and down oh let's go one and down slowly bring your knees onto the ground we're going to cross the legs or move the legs to the side and come on to the sitting pose. We're just going to do some stuff for our um, hips. So hands behind your knees and we're just going to roll in backwards. Drag the feet in, bring your knees close to your chest. Good. Now bring our hands into our knees and we're going to open the legs. So literally we're going to do a circle with our knees but in opposite direction. Okay. So open your legs, move them away, and then bring them close. Let's go for four, just to feel the mobility in our hips. Let's go three, two, and just one more. Good, now we change the direction, so knees away, open to the side, bring them closer. Let's go for three, two, and last one. Bring the knees together, feet onto the ground. Now we cross the right ankle at the top of the left thigh, so we have like a triangle shape between the thighs. Leave you left foot and catch your thighs from behind and each one so i know some of you do it with one leg but it's better with the two so we don't have the arm in the back so this leg can come closer we just hold here we can flex and point the feet just to release the muscles we hold for four breaths inhale and exhale let's go for three and any time when you feel tension, you can give you a little rub just to release. And just one more. Again, don't worry about flexibility. Just feel nice sensation. Release. Swap your legs. And one more time, we lift. And we can always flex and point our feet. Feel nice releasing our hips. Let's go for four. Three. Two, and just one more. 
and cross the legs and let's repeat these circles around so let's go for five four three two and one we change the direction we just go five four three two and one back to center feet together open your legs to the butterfly keep the sole of the feet together bring your arms backwards again if our arms cannot straight fully backwards just bring them beside your shoulders you can bend your elbows and just drag them all the way backwards as far as is comfortable for you we just hold here for four breaths inhale and exhale try to push gently your feet each other let's go for two more breaths inhale and exhale and just one more and exhale bring your hands under your knees bring your knees together lift the right leg up Catch the back of the thigh or your calf muscle or your ankle. Flex your feet. Move your head off the ground as far as we feel comfy. We just hold here. Remember, you can hold the leg from wherever is more comfortable and the leg might not come that close. It's okay. We hold for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Let's go for two. And just one more. Release your head, release your leg. And let's go the other leg. So we extend the leg. Doesn't matter if my leg is really far. Catch the thigh. Lift the head. Pull the leg closer. Again, some of you might hold your calf muscles. Some of you might hold your foot. It's okay. And we just hold here. For four. If it's too much tension on your neck, you can always use your hand. Let's go for three. You can change your hands anytime. Two. And just one more. We release. Good, everybody. Now we're going to cross the right leg at the top of the left. But this time we don't have a gap between the thighs. Drop the knees towards the left side. So always towards to the leg is under. Extend your right arm beside your shoulder and with the left hand we're just going to make a little bit pressure onto the legs just to feel a nice stretch. Always move your face opposite direction of your legs and we hold here for four. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for three. Just relax. Don't worry about flexibility. Feel how is your body. There are areas that might be tense or tight. It's okay, just relax with the breath. Back to center, everybody. Uncross, uncross the other leg. So this time is the right under. Extend your left arm beside your shoulder, palm facing down. Drop the knees towards to the right side as far as we maintain both shoulder blades on the ground. Bring your hand on top of the thigh, move your face opposite direction of your legs, and we just hold it here for four. And exhale. Three. And two. And just one more. And release everybody back to center. Stretch your arms and your legs on the floor. Again, you can always do the arms position that is comfortable for you. We're going to inhale, tense your body completely, flex your feet, make a fist with your hands, and exhale, completely relax. One more time. Inhale, tense arms and legs, and exhale. Just one more. Inhale. And 
good. Bend your knees, bring your knees close to you, dummy, head off the ground, rocking forward and backwards. Come to the sitting position, hands back, pray position, and we say Namaste. Thank you to join us in these 20 days of yoga, and we we'll see you the next day.